Hello friends, good morning, good afternoon, good evening. So this is a, a video about you know top 10 best uh, private universities in uh, Bangalore itself, right? So there should be no doubt in the mind that the first rank should be always a PES university and you know that it's the best uh, university in terms of placement and it has been ranked as a 100 uh, as per the NRF latest uh, report. So this college started in 1972 as a PESIT. PS Institute of Technology and it became a deemed university in 2013, right? So as we all know, it's 100 acres of campus and it has two campuses for engineering. One is the PS University Ring Road Campus, RR Campus and the PS University Electronic City Campus, PES, you know. And earlier PESIT South Campus or Electronic City Campus was affiliated with VTU. But now the South Campus, uh, which is Electronic City Campus, is also part of PS University. And uh, uh, as you understand, so there are only two modes of admission to PES, PES University. One is KCET and second one is the PESET entrance exam. They don't accept Comet K, right? So, so if around, you know, 42% of the admission takes through KCET exam, where around 90,000 is the fees and uh, the rest of 48% of admission goes through PESET exam or the JE mains, where, while the rest, you know, 10% of the seats go through the management quota. So that's all uh, you know, about PES University. The number two college on the list from the private university side is a Jan University, right? So Jan University was founded in 2013 and as it's known as Jan University, you know, School of uh, Engineering and Technology and it's located out of the Kanakpura Road, right? And it has also shown a good placement with respect to over these years and it has been ranked as 120th best engineering college in India by NRF 2022. Right, so it is also a good option for students who want to uh, do engineering in Bangalore. And this started actually in 1990 as a Bhagwan Mahavir Jain uh, uh, College and Dim University was formed in 2009. So it's a NAC uh, A grade institution approved by AICTE and uh, it provides for excellent uh, campus uh, facilities as well. Now coming to the modes of admission, right? So you can uh, get admission in, uh, you know, Jan University through two modes. One is the Unigoge exam and the second option is their own exam, which is called Jan Entrance Test. So basically they don't accept any of the KCET and the Comet K uh, exam in the short, right? So the third college or the third best engineering college part of private university is the Reva University, which was formed in 2004, right? And it was earlier known as Reva Institute of Technology and Management. So it has shown actually a very good placement over the years and uh, it has been ranked as NRF category 250 to 300 in the latest uh, NRF ranking. And it has a 45 acres beautiful campus based out of uh, Yelanka, uh, Yelanka area in Bangalore, right? So this is, uh, has shown a good placement with respect to both the uh, uh, national as well as international and uh, to get admission into you know Reva University they accept KCET they accept Comet K they also accept uh, Reva, uh, Unigoge exam and they also accept the Reva seat their own exam so the and the best uh, fourth best college on the list is the Christ University again Christ University is very popular college uh, in Karnataka and uh, its engineering faculty started in 2016 so it's being recently you know shown a good placement uh, uh, records and it's ranked and 180th by NRF 2020 report so it has got 75 acres campus in Bangalore Mysore Kangeri area and uh, as you know this has uh, this university has institutions in Pune Delhi and Bangalore as an now the fifth best option to do your engineering in private university in Bangalore is MS Ramaya University of Applied Sciences. So again MS Ramaya University of Applied Sciences have shown a good placement track record and the recent highest salary is 43 lakhs in this current 2022 year. So part of you know Ramaya group MS Ramaya University of Applied Sciences started in 2013 and it has a beautiful 50 acres campus in the Pena industrial area where from which it offers its you know in the engineering degree. And to get admission again to the Ramaya University, uh, you can take multiple exams, right? So it accepts KCT, Comet K, and the third one is Unigage exam, right? Which is an exam for all the private universities in India. So the sixth best option is Dayanan Sagar University, part of Dayanan Group, and uh, it has also shown a good placement record. And 28 lakhs is the highest salary in the last batch. So it has a common placements with Dayanan Sagar ATM College and Dayanan Sagar College of Engineering DSCE. So this has a campus of 15 acres on Hosur Main Road and the second campus on Kanakpura Road, and uh, it has been pro providing a decent placement. Uh, 
and around 500 to 600 students uh, offers were there in this year right so again admission to you know dhanan sagar university which is a state private university is through a kct exam and they accept comet k exam and the last way is that they have their own exam called dsat which is then and sagar admission test right for all their courses including engineering so with any of this score cards you can get admission into a uh, dhanan sagar university the seventh best option in bangalore is the alliance university so alliance also started as a engineering uh, kind of college in 2010 and uh, uh, it has a beautiful campus uh, located at anekal 45 acres and it has been you know uh, dis- shown a decent placement and the highest salary was uh, 16 lakhs there and it is recognized as a karnataka uh, state private university by ugc right so it has also an mba college which is much more popular than the engineering college but yeah so get admission into this uh, you can either get through kct they also accept the comet k admission process and apart from that there they have their own admission test which is called au eet which is a uh, you know alliance university engineering entrance test right so with any of these the three score cards you can apply to alliance universities which is the seventh best then now the eighth best option in bangalore is the amrita college so amrita bangalore campus so amrita you know in bangalore campus is started in 2003 and it is located in kasavanli sarjapur uh, main road bangalore area right and uh, it's part of the amrita vishwavidyapeetam right which is in uh, tamil nadu coimbatore is the uh, main location and uh, so it has also shown a decent placement but uh, not as uh, good as the main campus right which is in amrita puri so they have the campus in amrita puri bangalore chennai and coimbatore right and it is a dem university it's also a nac a uh, accredited uh, institute however i will say that the bangalore campus which is in sarjapur road has a long way to long way to go to match up the standards of the original uh, main centers right so now coming to the admission process again they have a btech program uh, uh, and they a- accept two scores right so they have their own entrance exam called amrita engineering entrance exam uh, they you can give that one or they also accept j main score but they don't accept any of the state exams like you know kct or comet k so the only way is j mains or their own exam which is amrita uh, entrance examination so best nine college is again rank nine is geetam university which is based on visakhapatnam and its centers its you know engineering campus in bangalore is in dodapallapur area again this is a new campus which started in 2012 and it's a 100 acre campus as it's newly started it's showing a decent sign of increasing placements but it has again a long way to go before it can meet up the records of the original geetam universities in hyderabad and visakhapatnam again the main colleges are you know rated very heavily uh, highly on the nac scale as well as the affiliation so you say it is a nac a plus grade college and the all india ranking is always 100 so the admission to this is uh, they accept uh, you know kct they also accept uh, comet k admission process and apart from that they also accept uh, apts em set or the their own exam which is called gat you know which is gitam admission test in gat so with any mode of this you can get admission to this college now the 10 best uh, college for engineering doing engineering in bangalore uh, is you know presidency university right so presidency university has got a very good you know a track record of education in uh, B- bangalore and the presidency group started the this particular university in 2013 and it's a beautiful campus 65 acres located in the yelanka area and the presidency has been rated low because of you know the high number of seats it provides for the engineering right so around 2000 plus seats are there for the ug program and which makes it you know difficult to get a placement uh, you know for this uh, which is a new university it started in 2014 13 and only four batches have passed right and now coming to the admission process is uh, as i said it has a lot number of seats and the it takes admission through jee mains it kct comet k uh, unigoj and lot of admission modes and it has its own exam also called presidency university engineering entrance test so with any of this five modes of admission you can easily get into uh, you know you know presidency university and the last college on the list is again you know the rank 11 right which is the newly started 
CMR University of Bangalore. So CMR University of Bangalore was founded in 2013 and it's a school of engineering and technology, you know, is located in the Bagalore Road, which is very close to the airport. So around 66 acres of beautiful campus have been designed, but it's a new campus and the placements have yet to pick up. So last year, the highest salary was 12 lakhs, which increased to 18 lakhs highest salary in the 2022 batch. So it can come up high but as of now it's a new entrance is this into this list and uh, admission mode again you can get here through kcet through uni Gavaj, or the comet k admission process right so that's all friends i have to cover up the top 11 you know universities in uh, bangalore uh, it is based on mostly the placement track record and the nirf uh, ranking i have not considered any infrastructure part right thanks for watching and please subscribe to get similar updates